psychology and teaching uh, as a subject. So I want to present myself first. My name is Dag Berg. I uh, grew up in Bergen, which you will find here. The town. Okay. Uh, and there is a school for the deaf, so I was a pupil there. Three years ago, I moved to a town called Hamai, which you will find there, just across the country, in the inland. Um, and I took a bachelor degree in uh, virtual arts and design. And after I finished educating, I moved to Trondheim, where I got a job. Um, I work there as a virtual art and design, uh, multi multimedia advisor, sorry, interpreting the stage. <coughs> so I'll tell about my job at the Department of <coughs> Research and Development. <coughs> at the Department of uh, Research and Development, we have, as you can see from this picture, many different um, employees. Uh, we have deaf pupils in our institution, because there is a school for the deaf. And uh, all these people around the table have different backgrounds. And uh, we're all a part of this uh, department. And we cooperate a lot to develop programs. And there's lots of uh, experience in uh, this group. So all together we make programs, movies and uh, material for teaching. So there's a lot of cooperation going on across the table. Um, this is our home page and it's quite uh, famous, or many people use it, because here you can find information about all kinds of um, fields and it's in Norwegian but I have changed it into English, so here is the English version. People can go in here and press the different um, subjects or themes and um, find more information about these. What you see here? And I'll show you a little bit how, how you can use it, how you can use this page. Website. It's not working, so you just have to watch it. And we don't need an interpreting now. We just look what's going on. a new program that we just started to develop and it's a dictionary and it's called 2000 words so you see um, the signs as the girl um, her, um, and then you can choose from the first line here girl you, and there's also the voiceover so you hear and see at the same time. And you can learn new words and new signs and be a deaf or a hearing person. Our most um, used program is this dictionary, sign language dictionary. Um, we think it's better to have it on the web than to have it in paper because it's changing and developing the whole time. So you can choose from a long list of words and of course there are many words that you don't have here. But 
the ones we've gathered till now, you can see the signs for these different words. And I'll show you now. My name, my name is Dog, so we'll see what that will be. Dog. <laughs> my name is Dog, and this word in uh, English means day. So this is the Norwegian sign for day. <laughs> And as you see, there are many words. You can just press one and you get the sign. For example, Inge. Inge. France. France. <laughs> Norway. Norway. Well, some examples. We started developing this page in year 2000 and there's been new words coming all along, so the list is quite long. I'm actually not sure how many words we've got, but it's more than a thousand. And uh, people are still uh, adding words and we're developing it. And if you have some words that you want us to uh, have signs on, you can send them to us. And we also know that a word can have different meanings or different signs. So there's also the possibility to have, like you saw with England, you have many options. And we put numbers, one, two, three, for the alternatives. Um, this dictionary, people can also make their own. They can put their own words and signs and make their own dictionary and use a web camera and uh, capture themselves and make. So this is a different program, my signs. And uh, here, here also we see um, translating. For example, you can um, put in your word and we have a video from a classroom. And you go through different subjects, the teacher for example. And at the same time <coughs> when they're discussing, the teacher and the pupils are discussing and they want to uh, use this uh, website, uh, uh, like a dynamic website during the lesson. And that's also a possibility that we have at our resource center. For example, if you, the pupils are going to learn about the uh, farm, and when they go back home, they're going to continue their work, so they can go in here and they can do, well, it's a, a, a game way, uh, approach to, to the farm and everything that you can find there. And you can also work two in pairs uh, and learn more about the farm and what's inside. And all these programs that I've shown you, they are uh, available and free. <coughs> and uh, why, well, I want to say something about why we have these web pages why we think it's necessary. Well, I actually found a word from a famous philosopher saying what I mean about this. So, um, if, if a teacher is lecturing about something, I think it's very easy for the pupils when they come home, what was he actually talking about? It's easy to forget. If the teacher shows a video and uh, maybe acts on the subject or uh, do a game or visualize it, then you remember more, of course. But if you actually do it yourself, that's when you really remember it and understand it. 
So I think uh, it's, a, it's a good saying what this Chinese philosopher said. Any questions? Doesn't seem like it, so I'm good.